Hello, my name's Nick and I'm a member of the Three Engineers team and I'm going to read you our second book called The Missing Bees. This is the story about a girl named Scout who loves nothing more than to figure things out. Scout lives with her mum, her dad and their dog and her best friend Vinny, the poison dart frog. One day when she dressed and had tiptoed downstairs, Scout asked her dad about current affairs. You'll never guess what, he shouted out loud. The bees are missing and they're nowhere to be found. So Scout ran back upstairs to sit on her bed, where she thought long and hard about what was just said. Emergency meeting, cried out Scout. Where are these bees? Let's figure this out. I know. I'll pack a sack, a drink, a snack and my magnifying glass and see if the bees are hiding in the grass. Scout went outside to rummage on her knees. There were ants and spiders but no sign of bees. Perhaps they're hiding in this tree. I'll give it a knock and then maybe we'll see. rat a tat tat Gosh, what is that? An object flew past so fast it looked smeared. Then suddenly out of nowhere, a hummingbird appeared. Good day, little girl. I've been zooming around looking for flowers and zipping about for hours and hours. I'm really thirsty and I just can't think. Scout replied, slow down. Don't worry, you can have my drink. Thank you, little girl. What brings you around? The bees are missing and they're nowhere to be found. Well, I last saw the bees buzzing in the wood. Go off and find them. I think you should. Thank you, hummingbird. So off Scout went. Scout heard a noise and it sounded like bees. So she crept and looked behind some trees. Crack. Oops. Who is welcoming me from my slumber? My belly's rumbling loud like thunder. Scout's eyes lit up. She reached into her sack. And to the bear's amazement, she offered him her snack. Thank you, little girl. What brings you around? The bees are missing and they're nowhere to be found. Well, the bees gave me honey just the other day. Follow my paw prints, they'll show you the way. Thank you, bear. So off Scout went. Skipping through long grass as Scout travelled, she found the hive, but the queen looked frazzled. Hello, Queen Bee. Are you okay? Not really, she panted. My bees have flown away. I can't do everything on my own. I'm feeling quite blue being here all alone. Why are you here? What brings you around? Well, according to the news, the bees can't be found. <laughs> the queen bee sniggered. They're not missing. There's not enough flowers to keep them all active. So they're up at the arcade where the lights are attractive. Thank you, queen bee. So off Scout went. The bees, the bees, they're all here, shouted Scout, whilst grinning from ear to ear. She hurried on over and went to say hi. But the bees weren't buzzing and didn't reply. Looking around, Scout sensed things weren't right. She had expected the bees to be far more polite. They were engrossed in their games and eating weird food. Could this be the reason they're in this strange mood? Then Scout had an idea that was simple and quick, bringing friends together for a special picnic. Hello, bees! shouted Scout, getting their attention. I have this idea which I think I should mention. You're invited to my picnic. There's plenty of room. Just turn up when spring's here to see my plant bloom. The bees all shrugged, agreed and played on. Scout had this idea she dared not prolong. 
When arriving back home, Scout mapped out a plan, then called her new friends to come lend a hand. Getting to work, they all pulled up weeds. They were digging and planting and spreading some seeds. When the bees came in spring, it was a wonderful sight. There were flowers aplenty, all vivid and bright. Their wings started twitching, their antennas perked up, you could hear by their buzzing, it was an instant pickup. The picnic was laid and spread out to begin. So Scout gave her permission for them all to dig in. The bees ate the pollen and regained their old powers. Hummingbirds sipped from all the new flowers. Queen Bee was happy that her colony was back. Even Bear had enough honey to fill up his sack. The bees now found, and the teamwork was fun. Scout was delighted with the work they had done.